So now we will discuss about that is what is call by value and call by reference and for that we will overload the two different methods. For example, let me save this program as swapdemo.java. Let me create here one class that is swap. Here I want to overload the two methods. And that is what one is for the swapping with the call by value and another is for the swapping with the call by reference. Let me here declare the class that is swap demo. So this is my class of swap in which I have two numbers number one and number two. So these are the two numbers that is you can say instance variable. Now I have one function and that function is void swap. This function takes the two arguments from the user. So I am just writing here integer number 1, integer number 2. Now I am writing this dot number 1 is equal to number 1. This dot number 2 is equal to number 2. Now I want to swap the value. So what we can do here? We can simply write this dot number 1 is equal to this dot number 1 exclusive or this dot number 2. So what happens in this case, it will simply do the exclusive or between the number one and number two. Let me copy this paste paste here. This is number two and this is number one. Now here I'm just simply printing that system dot out dot print line inside function inside function and I'm just to simply print here these dot number one some space and these dot number two. So inside function, what is the value of this variable that I am printing over here? I need to create an instance over here. So I'm just writing first main method. Now I want to create an instance. So I'm writing here swap s equal to new swap. So this s is my object. Now I have two variables over here. That is number one is equal to 10 and integer number 2 is equal to 20. Now I'm simply calling the function s dot swap and I'm passing number 1 and number 2. Now here I'm just simply printing the message that before swap value of number 1 is equal to that is number 1 and number 2 is equal to that is number let me copy this and paste over here that is after swap value of number one and number two and inside function inside function number one is equal to this and number two is equal to this now you can save this particular code and you can compile over here that is java c swap demo dot java See here what happened this dot number 2 is equal to that should be number 2. Let me save this and you can recompile that is Java C swap demo dot Java. Let me run this Java swap demo. So what happens see my passing value is 10 and 20. Inside function definitely it is a swap that is 20 and 10 but my original content is not changed yet right and that is you can say 10 and 20 still the same content you can say this is called by value why because instead of passing the reference i'm just passing here value and this is the primitive value and even if i'm assigning to my current instance i will not be able to get the same thing over here why because it is a call by value and call by value doesn't make changes to your original content now i want to declare one more function and that is a function that is the same version void swap but instead of passing the primitive i will pass an instance of the class and that is a swap s so instead of passing the primitive type here you can pass the instance of the class that is a swap if you look carefully then here s is capital here s is a small so both are different this swap is the function and this swap is the class. Here this swap is a function and this swap is the class. So class object I am passing here as a parameter. Now I can write directly and that is what 
s dot number one is equal to s dot number one exclusive or s dot number two you can just copy this paste paste and here you can write that is number two now here you can just copy this and you can paste that inside function inside function what is the value of number one and that you can access using the object that is s dot number one and s dot number two so you can say your swap function is now overloaded here there are two parameters and here one parameter you can say this swap function is called by value and you can say this function is called by reference now what is the difference your original content will be changed over here how let me give you the demonstration for the same for example I'm creating an instance swap s1 equal to new swap now I'm writing s1 dot number one is equal to 10 s1 dot number two is equal to 20 and I'm calling the before swap and after swap over here so I'm just writing before swap number one is equal to s1 dot number one s1 dot number two and here instead of calling the function with the primitive I can call s1 dot swap and I can pass an instance of s1 here after swap what is the value of s1 and what is the value of s1 dot number one and what is the value of s1 dot number two you can save this and here you can just compile java c swap demo dot java I need to write a semicolon over here you can recompile this code and you can check see here the before swap it is 10 20 20 10 inside the function and after swap it is also at 20 10 it means your original content is changed using the call by reference using the call by value my original content is as it is inside function it is changed but original content was as it is here my original content is changed so you can say this is called by reference so let me write here system dot out dot print line here I'm writing call by reference here you can write slash n here you can write slash n so you people will get the better idea here you can say it is called by value and here no need to write a slash n here also no need to write a slash n let me save this you can compile this so you will get the better idea that call by value original content is as it is inside function it is changed once it is changed in inside function my original content is also changed that is called by reference so what is called by reference it is very simple Whenever you pass any reference data type over here as a parameter, it is known as a call by reference. And whenever you pass any primitive type as a parameter, it is known as a call by value.